on television is three cushion billiards while well, in jacksonville this weekend the midwest central division classic took place three cushion billiards isn't really hard to understand it's just hard to play three cushion billiards is played on a table that is five feet wide and ten feet long unlike a regular pool table there are no pockets three balls are used two whites and one red one white ball has a spot on it you start with a lag and you lag to the top of the far rail and back, and the one that comes the closest to the bottom rail gets the first shot. You must hit three cushions after you hit it, and then score on the white ball. That's your first billiard. The rest of the game is played by hitting one ball, getting three cushions or more, and then scoring on the third ball. The first player to reach 40 billiards wins the match, and every player has their own secret for winning. Good top three cushion player maybe has as many as a half a dozen systems. The standard systems, plus some of his own favorite systems, which maybe he, he thought of himself in his subconscious mind when he couldn't sleep from that. Concentration is important in this sport, and so is sportsmanship supposed to not sight your opponent, which we call hustle. That's such bad taste. And uh, you won't be very well liked in the future if you're that type of a person. And this game is well liked across the country. Three cushion billiards is the uh, favorite of all billiard games. I'm not, I'm not saying, talking about pool. I'm talking about billiards. Well, 14 men challenged for the Midwest Central Division Classic title. The players came from Michigan, Wisconsin, Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri. Let's check the results now from the Three Cushion Billiards Midwest Central Division Classic. George Ashby of Jacksonville won it on a tiebreaker. Mike Donnelly of Michigan was second. Robbie Matthews of Jacksonville third. Jim Blessy of Jacksonville sixth. Bill Hawkins of Decatur was eighth. And Vern Massey came in twelfth. He's also from Jacksonville. What you're seeing here is billiards, not pool. And there's a big difference. Three cushion billiards doesn't have any pockets on the table. It's an oversized table. It's five by ten. Most people think that billiards is pocket pool, similar to what you might see in pool rooms or taverns. There's no pockets on a billiard table, and you only play with three balls. Very few players are highly skilled at the game. These 14 players are highly skilled. That's how they made it this far. And while many pool halls are removing their billiard tables due to lack of interest, Matthews hopes by sponsoring this classic, he can help renew interest in the game. Matthews admits that billiards may not enjoy the popularity it once did, but the image of the game has changed. In fact, it's become downright respectable. I think up until really in the last five years, pool had a bad stereotype known as back alley tavern pool or hustler type attitudes, and it's changing now. You've got organized leagues, handicap leagues that are going on nationwide and international this time next year which has men and women and handicaps similar to bowling. And it's changing the name. The facilities are nicer. You don't have the smoke-filled pool rooms that you used to have. Ernie Presto started playing in 1923 at the age of 16. And while he's not competing in this year's Classic, he still enjoys a game now and then. Billiards is a game that stays with you. You can play billiards until you drop dead if you're 100 years old. And they say if you play billiards, you'll never die anyway. So that's why I played. The overall winner will walk away Sunday with a first prize of $625. Not a lot as grand prizes go. But as Matthew says, if the game would pick up, so would the winnings. Laurie Stout, Channel 7 Eyewitness News Update, Jacksonville.